when you are 20 to 30 years old, you should follow a good boss, join a good company to learn how to do things properly. When you're 30 to 40 years old, if you want to do something yourself, just do it. You still can't afford to lose, to fail. But when you're 40 to 50 years old, my suggestion is that you should do things that you are good at and not do things that, oh, that's very interesting. I want to try something new. It's a bit dangerous more. When you're 50 to 60 years old, spending time training and developing young people, the next generation. When you're over 60 years old, better stay with your grandchildren. Don't try to be the best. Be the first. Be the first to change. Be the first to take the challenge. Be the first one to overcome the difficulties. Because the best person, there's only one Olympic champion. I don't think I'm lucky enough to be that. But I can always try the new things and don't give up. I believe it because you, you are so unique. Everybody's unique. Be yourself is always the key. This world today is full of challenges and opportunities. 2,000 years ago, full of challenges and opportunities. And I'm sure 2,000 years later, full of challenges and opportunities. There's always, it depends on how you look at. Somebody look at this challenge as opportunity. Young people always say there's no opportunity. I complain a lot when I was young because I think Bill Gates took all the opportunities for the Microsoft, the Steve Jobs, all these guys. There's no job, up, there's no great big stuff left for us. But I think opportunity always lies in the challenges, always lies in the complaints. If you can solve the challenge, you, have the, you, you will be successful. The big challenge you solve, the big problem, or the, the big opportunity you have. I think life is a journey. You come to this world is to enjoy the life, to be happy and healthier. So the day when you leave the world and you say, I'm happy in my life, I'm healthy in this life, because if you're not healthy, you will never be happy. So I believe happy and healthy are the things the human being always looking for. And I think next to 30 years, because of the technology, uh, the life science is going to change a lot. And people is going to live longer. And but when you can live longer, does not necessarily live healthier. So if you're not healthy, how can you be happy? If you live longer, if you're not happy, why you live there? I was the first, I know nothing about technology. I know nothing about management. I know nothing about, but the only thing is that you don't have to know a lot of things. You have to find the people who are smart than you are. For so many years, I always try to find the people smart than I am. And when you find so many smart people, my job is to make sure the smart people can work it together. And then if smart people can work together, it's easier. The vision they will believe. Because if stupid people can work <laughs> together easily, smart people can never work together. <laughs> I think globalization cannot be stopped. Nobody can stop globalization. Nobody can stop trade. I think globalization did a fantastic job in the past 30 years. Enriched a lot of countries, but of course, caused a lot of problems, right? Young people do not have opportunities. Small business have not opportunities. Develop, developing countries were neglected. But it's only 30 years. It's a baby. Today, we have a better technology. We have a better knowledge about globalization. And it's our generation's responsibility or opportunity to improve it. Tell me, how can you stop globalization? Education, it's a good, big challenge now. If we do not change the way we teach, 30 years later, we'll be in trouble. Because the way we teach, the, the thing we talk, teach our kids, are the things in the past 200 years, it's knowledge-based. And we cannot teach our kids to compete with machine who is smarter. We have to teach something unique. That is, machine can never catch up with us. I never thought I could be a CEO. I never thought I, later I'd become a good CEO. One of the things I learned is from teachers. As a teacher, very important the character of a teacher is the teacher always expect his students better. If you don't have this kind of thinking, it's a, it's a, it's a lousy loop, it's, it's a terrible teacher. 
This is generally speaking, and this is something that everything you do, you have to love it. If you do not like the things you, you know, you're doing, you are so. I mean, your life is in trouble. All right. Second is that、uh, try to build a good team. What does a good team mean? The good team does not mean you hire excellent people from Harvard or from a multinational five hot Fortune five Fortune five hundred countries or、uh, companies. I remember when we raised the five first the five million US dollars. We think, ha!、Huh, now we have money from fifty thousand dollars to five million dollars. So we should hire great people. We hired close to ten excellent vice presidents for our many multinational companies. One of the guys who are the marketing expert, vice president of a big company, he gave me a business plan, a marketing plan, twelve million U.S. dollars, and I say, hey, I, we only have five million dollars. How could you give me a business plan for two? You know, for next year's budget to marketing, twelve million. He said, Jack, I never make any plan below twenty million dollars. Hire the right people, not necessarily the best people. The best people is always you train them. Not there's no best people in the market. The best people is all for you is always you train yourself. So, as I say, if you hire the people. Who are very good, not suitable to you. It's just like you are putting a Boeing 747 engine into a poor tractors. Neither of them are happy. The Boeing, the engine is not happy. The poor tractor is not happy. So find the right people. And the other thing I want to say is that、um, making sure that you focus on the product and services. Your vision decides what kind of people are joining you, but what kind of people joining you would decide the product and services. As the chairman, as the CEO, as the founder of the company, you have to be sure your customer are happy with the product and service. I know nothing about a computer. I hate high technology because people like me, when we hear about high technology, we are scared. But when we want to get a Government support. We tell government we are high technology. But when we tell the consumers, users say this is so simple. So I was for the first two years, I was the product tester of Alibaba website because I know 80% of the people in the world of, on the business world like me. We just want have a dumb click get what I want. So many of the times when the engineers design some wonderful softwares, they feel excited, and I would test it. If I cannot use it, just to throw into the rubbish. If I can use it, I believe 80% of people can use it.